This is the Xiaomi 15 with the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite and this is the Vivo X200 Pro Mini with latest dimensioning 9400 MTK. Now both chips are built on a 3nm process, Adreno 830 for the GPU. Here we do have the latest Mali GPU card, but this video is about the displays. Now those are almost the very same size, like 6.3 inches, just a very small difference. The Xiaomi 15 can go up to 3400 in its peak brightness and they also advertise that they can achieve this not in a very small area but in 25% of the screen and the Vivo X200 Pro Mini advertised to go up to 4500 nits peak brightness and in this video we are going to test this against the sun so first things first let's go and check some settings I'm gonna go inside the display and brightness the Xiaomi 15 has the sunlight mode now expand brightness range and adjust brightness automatically under bright condition of course this will heat more and consume more battery but i will just turn off the auto brightness and turn on the sunlight mode to make sure that i'm using the maximum available brightness situation with the vivo is like this we can disable the auto brightness if i enable it i only have the custom brightness but this is related to something else also there is something called visual enhancement and the xiaomi has something called ai image engine now ai asia enhancements i will turn this to on because when i process asia videos this bring out more detail in the light and dark areas and i'm going to turn also the visual enhancements here and now guys without any further ado i'm going to start in hdr 4k 60 fps YouTube video and just see what happens. The quality setting is applied so now let's start the video simultaneously on both devices guys and you let me know what you think down below in the comments. Now mm, it seems from the very first seconds that indeed the Vivo X1 Pro Mini just a tiny bit brighter versus the Xiaomi 15 but just keep looking outside of the center area because again the Xiaomi should be able to pump up 3400 in 25 percent of the surface of the screen and the advertised 4500 nits peak brightness on the Vivo X1 Pro Mini are probably only reached into a very tiny area maybe centimeter by centimeter but nevertheless I am right now looking this together with you in real time and I'm shooting this video and it seems to me that the Vivo X200 Pro Mini is just a tiny bit brighter. Definitely brighter on the Vivo X2 Pro 100 Mini. Now of course not by so much but still and I'm also trying to take a look at different angles from the left, from the center and also from the right. So just keep watching a bit more and then I'm going to change some settings and see if the Xiaomi 15 is going to be able to catch up. Now guys, the difference isn't mind-blowing. I guess it's corner to corner, really very close. And at the end of the day, those are some very powerful displays like everything from 1,600-800 nits. It's just very good. And of course, you shouldn't have no issues with the broad daylight. Now, Let's just go back inside the settings so that you can see what happens. I'm using, by the way, the very same wallpaper on both phones. Right now, I'm gonna go inside the settings, and you can see the brightness is really set to maximum. Those are the settings. Also, here, just have a feeling that the Vivo is just a tiny bit brighter again, just by a small margin. I'm gonna go and turn the automatic brightness here, display brightness. All right, still is the same. What I want to do right now, I'm gonna go and turn off this HD enhancements just to see what is gonna happen. All right, let's remove those one. The brightness setting was even not to maximum, so I upped it up manually and now it's full brightness for all those phones. Let me just confirm, yeah, full brightness here, full brightness here as well. All right, and now I think it's getting interesting without the super visual enhancements and the AI engine. And I do believe that without those things, they are very, very close. Again, I cannot say that this is like 20% better. It's just really just by a tiny margin. So good are both displays, the Xiaomi 15 here with the Vivo X200 Pro mini phone. All right, let's just keep watching. When I remove the auto brightness and only leave it to sunlight mode, you can see that the brightness just drops by a tiny bit. So I wanna enable this and also maximize the screen brightness value. Now here, 
nothing else that we can do. Custom brightness is for something else. Let's align the settings. Again, we're gonna go and choose the highest one. Now let's restart a video from the beginning and let's put it on the big screen, okay. This should be the second test. Another video, everything really pumped up to the maximum. And by the way, let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. It's really very, very close with those two phones. You see, for some moment, the View X100 Pro kind of like pumps the brightness and then goes down a bit. Which is rather interesting. Let's see what is going to happen when we are watching this in a tiny screen. Again, it's very comparable. And now I have a feeling that the Xiaomi 15 is actually able to put more brightness. Because see here, the white, just a tiny bit wider than what we see on the Vivo, right? Does it seem like the Vivo X100 Pro just lost some of the brightness after like 8 minutes of recording? <laughs> it feels that way. So right now in this test, it rather seems that they are both on par. Alright, let's just watch this scene here. Yeah, absolutely. Now I don't think that the Vivo X200 Pro Mini is able to sustain this brightness and it dropped a bit. Um, the Xiaomi is just doing fine. And right now, both phones seem to be even more equalized versus the start at the beginning. Alright, I've been recording already for 22 minutes, guys, and I'm just waiting to see which of those phones will kind of drop the brightness. Again, 22 minutes of recording. Initially, the Vivo X200 Pro Mini was brighter, but then I guess after 12, 13, 14 minutes, it dropped the brightness. And I do believe now that both phones are really aligned. Also, it's interesting to note that when you're using the sunlight mode on the Xiaomi 15 with the auto brightness, it seems it's not pumping the highest brightness. So you need to manually go and check this. How do we check this, guys? Well, just make sure that you have here the highest brightness. Now, in the menus here, the Xiaomi seems to be a bit brighter. And let's just see what happens on the desktop, guys. Incredible. I really have a feeling that now the Xiaomi 15 is producing a brighter image. After 25 minutes of recording, I do believe that the Xiaomi 15 definitely pumps up more brightness. Let's check this video here. A very cool one by Red Bull and Samsung. Oh, you see guys, the Vivo starts somehow strong and then at some point limits the brightness. You know what I'm going to do? So let's just try to pump this up. I'm going to use the AI HDR enhancements on the Xiaomi as well, right? Make sure that we're using the same settings and I just try to restart the video and see. Aha, uh -huh, okay. This might be kind of the key. Now with this visual enhancement here, I think that the Vivo X200 Pro Mini is using the highest available brightness that it can pump, but without it, you can see it's probably just limiting down and then the Xiaomi catches up. But with this setting, I clearly see that the X200 Pro Mini is pumping more, right? Everywhere on the screen. Let's keep watching guys and you will let me know what you think down below in the comments. Vivo has brighter colors and also is more vivid. So I really think that the display just is able to sustain higher brightness under direct sunlight. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, guys. And if you like content like this, just go and watch some of the previous videos. Stay safe, VST over and bye.